Hi, this is Harish Bali from Technofair.com. Today, I'm going to share one of my favorite screen recorder apps for Android, and it's Mobizen. You can go to Play Store and download the same. This is the app Mobizen. I've given the link in the description below. In this video, I'm going to do a review of this particular app with respect to its feature of screen recorder. This app will ask you to enter your email ID and will also identify your device name which you can change on your own also. Now this is the record screen link. To start recording, simply tap on record screen. This is the Mobizen screen recorder widget. I can move it anywhere on the screen. If I tap on it, it displays three options. First one is to start the recording. This one is for settings and this camera icon, if I tap on it, it will take the screenshot of the screen. Now I'll start the recording. It has already started the recording and to pause it, I simply need to tap on it and pause. To finish the recording, simply tap on this red button and recording finishes. Check later. There are two ways to access the recorded video. One of course is through the file manager of the device and second way is you click on the app and click on these three horizontal short lines and here's the recorded video. If the recorded video is long, you can edit the same by selecting it and then click on this edit icon on the top left and simply split the video by using this option or you can also add music from here and once the splitting is done, simply tap on finish and it will show two videos right here on the edited video section. You may want to share the recorded video by clicking on the share icon and these are the various options through which you can share the video. Go back and if you wish to delete some of the videos which are not useful, simply click on delete after a particular video is selected. Let's explore settings of this app. Click here. Let's go to settings. You can adjust the quality of the video from 0.5 Mbps to 12 Mbps. It of course depends upon your requirement. What is it that you want to set? Similarly, you can check various resolutions. So if it's just sharing between friends, you may prefer to do, go for a lower resolution, which will save your memory space. Similarly, choose from various frame per second options. Most of the screen recorder apps provide this particular feature of front camera as part of their pro version. So if I tap on this camera icon, there is a screen which shows my face like this. Let me go to the home screen so it becomes more visible. I can again move it around anywhere I want like this, like this. You can see me recording this tutorial. Let's go back to the settings. Settings here. Scroll up. You may decide to move from front camera to profile picture. Change from the options that you have got in your mobile gallery. Let's scroll down. So here I am on my profile picture. With this microphone of the mobile device will be in use. Use this to select the countdown in seconds. So let me choose three. Gesture recording. Gesture recording will record the taps on the mobile device screen. Last setting is on the display time. Where do you want to show it? Top left corner I am choosing. Go back. This is my profile pic. I can move it around. Settings. And now if I start the recording, this is the timeout which is showing. Right now, screen is recording and this is how the gestures are showing up on the screen when I move my profile pic around. And here on the top, you can see the timer which is running. Pause. Tap on the red square button to close the recording. Once you are done with all this, what you need to do is do a long press on the profile pic and drag it to this cross button and this will go. Good thing about this particular app Mobizen is that it offers all this for free. If you found this tutorial on Android screen recorder good, do give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.